My family holds these lush banquets. But one night a year is a special dinner. One I've never been invited to until now. It's very stuffy. A bunch of family and important people dressed in decadence. Discussions are just so dry. This was highly uneventful so far. That didn't last for very long till the servants rolled out a projector. The excitement in the room could not be contained. Laughter and happy chatter all abuzz. I hope it's as good as last time, commented Mother, her eyes glittering with a sort of mischief. It will be even better, promised Father. For my part, I stayed silent, focusing on the scenes. It was all very new. These were officials here, a priest, a town folk, an uncommon sight in these walls. The movie begins and the doors of the dining room are shut and locked. Why are they locked? What is this film? Before I could question, Mother gave me a look of delight. Just watch, my dear. I don't want to see this. We did as promised. L let me go! Cried the townsfolk. The guards held him in place as the picture played. It was our kitchen with our chef cooking ribs, some sort of mysterious looking pork. No, I don't want to see this. Vegetables were shimmied with kidney meat. The man fainted and was taken away swiftly. Everyone in the room mocked him and chortled at his misery. I was paralyzed in my chair, trying to put it all together. Why did the man lose his mind? It was just cooking, wasn't it? Now that we've had tonight's entertainment, we can eat, my father said joyously. The servants began to plate tables with all sorts of dishes, just like on the video. We started with the soup. She wanted to be a famous cook. What delicious irony. No. What? Curiously, I looked through the soup. And underneath the leeks and potatoes was a human thumb. I just started to scream as they all giggled demonically. <laughs> this was the dinner party from hell.